thought to be hiding somewhere in the rugged terrain of Mari province in central Yemen is Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula's top bomb maker. Saudi and Yemeni intelligence officials released two photos of Hassan al-Asiri. According to his father, he abruptly left his Mecca home three years ago. It is thought the 28-year-old has been using his time in a Yemen hideout to perfect his bomb-making skills. These explosive-packed printer cartridges were so well constructed that it's thought British intelligence officers failed to identify one of them during their first search. Al-Asir is also credited with two earlier bomb-making efforts. Last year, he sent his brother as a suicide bomber to target Saudi Arabia's top counter-terrorism official, Prince Mohammed bin Nayef. The prince escaped with minor wounds. Then, last December, a Nigerian man wearing explosive-laden underpants was on board this US-bound plane. The bomb burst into flames, but didn't explode. Here, in Shabwa, the government pounded Al-Qaeda hideout and then expanded its campaign south in this mountainous area near Abiyan. It was the scene of fierce fighting between government forces and Al-Qaeda fighters. The challenge that we have in the past two months, if you look at the record, 70 police officers and officers has been shot dead by Al-Qaeda. So it's a serious business, it's a deadly business, and you need equipment, you need training, you need know-how, and you need intelligence. That's Yemen is what Yemen is lacking, and that's what Yemen wants. On Sunday evening, the Yemeni woman arrested over the bomb plot was released on bail. Hanan Asamawi's phone number has been found as a contact when the bombs were left with couriers. Investigators now believe her identity may have been stolen. And when she returned to her university, she got a hero's welcome. I was not mistreated under arrest and I would like to seize this opportunity to thank my family and all those who supported me. So now there are no suspects in custody and the alleged mastermind remains free. Hassan al-Asiri has been on Yemen's target list for some time. He is considered one of the top military commanders of Al-Qaeda and like his colleagues has survived airstrikes and raids. The leadership of Al-Qaeda is widely believed to be on the move all the time, taking advantage of massive cave networks and tribal protection. Hashim al-Barra al-Jazeera, Sana'a.